Hi everyone. Uh, so basically, you are going to watch a recording of uh, regulatory affairs branch. Uh, so many of the students were expecting, and uh, they were messaging me regarding regulatory affairs. So I have made a video short. Kari hai Jay Shri ke saath. Uh, uh, really sorry for the technical glitches. Jo hai, matlab thoda network ka issue hai. To koshish karna uh, ki aavas ko dhan se sunna, and you will have your queries clear. ठीक है तो एंजॉय द वीडियो मेक ऑल द इंपॉर्टेंट नोट्स दैट यू कैन गेट फ्रॉम द वीडियो एंड आई रियली होप दिस वीडियो हेल्प्स यू इन गेटिंग द क्लेरिफिकेशन अबाउट द आरए रेगुलेटरी अफेयर्स ब्रांच फ्रॉम नाइबर हैदराबाद हाय एवरीवन आकाश वर्मा दिस साइड एंड वेलकम टू योर परफॉर्मेंस प्लेटफार्म सो टुडे वीडियो इज मच अवेटेड एवरीवन वांट्स टू नो अबाउट रेगुलेटरी अफेयर्स एंड टुडे वी हैव जयश्री विद अस शी इज फ्रॉम नाइबर हैदराबाद एंड फ्रॉम रेगुलेटरी अफेयर्स ब्रांच एंड शी विल बी टेलिंग A to Z, everything about regulatory affairs that you should be knowing by this time, and you should be having clarity when you be you will be entering into Nayapur Hyderabad. So, uh, uh, Jayashree as is GPAT qualified, Nayapur also qualified, very good rank in Nayapur, two eighty two, and uh, she is from Seven Hills College of Pharmacy, and uh, right now in Nayapur Hyderabad, second year she is pursuing. So, first of all, thank you so much, Jayashree, for taking out time and uh, sharing the knowledge with us. First of all, thanks to you, Akash sir. And first of all, good evening to everyone. Thanks for inviting me to this video, sir. And coming to why I choose regulatory affairs means by chance I get this regulatory affairs department in Nayapur, Hyderabad. And after getting into Nayapur, Hyderabad, I get to know, I got to know that everything about the regulatory affairs department. now i am going to share some of the few things about the regulatory affairs department first of all what is regulatory affairs department everyone has a doubt that everyone have doubt that what is ra ra is nothing but regulatory affairs yes. what the people will do in ra so regulatory affairs is nothing but it is the connection between the industries and means pharmaceutical industries and health authorities means our bodies regulatory body Mm. Industries will develop. Industries will develop farm APIs, active pharmaceutical ingredients and formulations. In case, in order to get approval, they has to file the documents or applications like NDA, ANDA, BLA for biologic. These applications they have to file to health authority to get approval. Mm. Here, RA people will play a major role. Means, without RA people, they won't file any application to the health authority. RA people will file those application. This is the role for RA people. This we will learn in Nayapur Hyderabad College. We will learn what are the documents, what are the applications. There will be different, uh, different, different sir. The means for core subject it is non-core regulatory. Regulatory subject is very different. Means like site master files, batch manufacturing records. There will be lot of records. we will read this all thing about in nayapur hyderabad mm, coming to what industry people will do after i am doing internship in drl sir after getting to drl in college i read theoretically what what are those things we read in theoretically we will get to know that practically in industries okay mm, in ra sir first first ra people what they will do means they will connect to different different departments they collect they collect all the documents they, those documents have lot of information but this information is not required health authority mm. health authority requires only specific information what we know what are the people we know are the people will filter all the documents all the documents and they will they will shortlist and what is the information required by the health authority we will assess ra people will assess and ra people will shortlist that the documents and they will file this applications to the and cdisco means in for india cdisco for us us fda like that there will be different different regulatory bodies for different different country we will file those documents after that they after that cdisco will assess safety and efficacy based on those documents of the products if the if the authority has any queries they will send queries to us only to ra people only and ra people again connect with the other departments and they will sort out the problem 
and they will reply to the they will reply to the cdisco or any other regulatory body and we will get approval after getting approval we will commercially marketing the product to the country sir this is going to happen in the industry sir this is the full picture in industry coming to our means everyone is the felt that system work system work is there is any difficulty in system of no sir not like that during this two years course we will get to know that how, what to do what to do in your how to prepare the documents how to means only three sir word document and the pdf format and excel sheet these three is enough for ra people sir there is nothing to worry in case of handicapped people sir in case of handicapped it is i will say that it is a primary choice for handicapped people sir means in case of court they has to do lot of lab work but here there is no need to do lab work sir they will sit they will sit and they will calmly they will do their work that's why but i am i am saying in this video that anyone is having physically handicapped please try to choose ra first okay and coming to place and coming to placement office in uh, naipur hyderabad for ra sir our senior got 100% placement first earlier than other departments sir because recruitment is high sir but the colleges offering regulatory affairs department is very very less sir okay really means almost ha huh, first manipal university and then jss jamme hamdard means major these three institutes have skilled area people sir and after that recently in 2021 uh, naipur hyderabad started regulatory affairs department sir our sec we are second batch i am very fortunate to be a regulatory affairs department means our seniors got 100% placed we are also we are also having 10 members people we are also getting into internship there is one advantage is that sir in second year only we have opportunity to get into internship and we will get as well as theoretical knowledge as well as practical knowledge at a time sir in second year it is one of the major benefit first one is for handicapped people it is very benefit yeah. second second thing is internship for regulatory affairs department internship is the mandatory sir yeah. if in case if no if i am not interested then i will stay in the college and i will continue my study if i am interested to learn what is going on the industry then then that case i will uh, i will opt for internship and i will go to the internship and i will do work in internship as well as i will continue my studies in the college this is about regulatory department sir okay okay i think you should a uh, good uh, amount of knowledge uh, you know there many uh, how many seats are there in regulatory affairs 9 or 10 10 sir 10 10 okay that's great and placement is also 100% and and it's all only uh, it's a kind of desk job like you you're sitting on a laptop and you're doing the work So and the people. other thing is that sir mm. recruitment is high sir mm. it is a nine naipur hyderabad open placement na sir mm. other department people also getting ra sir okay but first preference is regulatory affairs department only sir first the 10 seats are completed then only they are hiring the other department people sir that is the major means first preference is ra people okay So basically, there are many key takeaways that uh, the audience is watching. They can have that, like uh, like recruitment is very high, you know, uh, because uh, you know uh, it's a very scarce schools. It's not available everywhere. It's only available three or four places. Yes, sir. So if you're getting a seed in this sniper Hyderabad, it will be great for you. Secondly, it's a desk job. Those who of those of you who does not does not want to go to the ground and does not want to go to the lab, you just have to sit uh, on your laptop and prepare the documentation and get the drug approval. So, and also third thing is that uh, in second year only you'll be getting the practical and theoretical knowledge simultaneously. So there are many. Uh, is there anything that uh, a student should be pre-prepared from their side uh, when they are coming to regulatory affair, or they just come and they learn the things? or they should uh, do some pre preparation for themselves a uh, no sir means outside we didn't get regulatory knowledge sir okay. while coming here only after after 2 to 3 months our seniors will be there sir means for my juniors i am the senior hmm. through our seniors guidance only we will get to know that sir because uh, through our 
through our in, by ourselves we won't get anything sir because it is a somewhat tricky tricky words will be there sir in google also we won't get those those kind of words sir but experienced people will be there sir, sir. here an, another benefit is sir uh, industrial people who have more than 3 or 3 years experience in regulatory they will taught us sir the yes. subjects will be taught by yes. oh that is a major thing sir yes. and also portuguese is a reg experienced people will taught us the subjects which are having in and then the fifth thing is uh, we have phd in rsr phd is there yes sir phd one seat for um, one seat is available sir okay okay that's great phd is also there mm -hmm. uh, total one seat is there only right only one seat yes sir this time one seat sir in previously three seats sir okay 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 uh, can you share some like company names which comes for for ra specifically specifically for sir last time uh, biofarm hmm. at first drl will come sir first drl will come for internship sir hmm. and after that biocon sir means biologic means biologic sir biological regulator affairs ke liye and then um lot of companies are there that i am not remembering hmm. and uh, yes sir fresh okay Pray, sir, and then Sanofi is come for Sanofi came for regulator writing. Sir, it depends on the their need, sir. Means last time Genpak came for some other, but now this time Genpak is Genpak will come for. We will expect that it is coming for regulatory. If they have, if they have vacancy, they will come and they will hire, sir. Before coming, then they will give they will give a workshop replacement talk. In that talk. It will explain that we are coming for these these roles. Like yes. that, we will get to know the sir. In, in past five or six companies came for yes. regulator affairs department, sir. Four regulator affairs department. One of the thing is first DRL and then Freyers and then Biocon and the remaining two are I'm I'm not remember. I forget about those two. No these about sir. Okay, okay, okay. So I think uh, I think. Audience must have got all the knowledge regarding regulatory affairs. It's a good branch; you can go for it. And uh, seats are limited, so if you are getting a chance, if you are selected for this RA, don't lose it. Go for it. Uh, scope is there because every now and then company develops a drug, and there is a regulatory authority. In in between, you need that person. In between, you need that company to get your drug approval. And that person, you can be that that one person, and it's highly required these days. Okay, so I just want to thank you, uh, Jashree, for sharing the knowledge about, about uh, regulatory affairs. And uh, I just want to share one thing about Jashree that uh, uh, she's very hardworking. And uh, uh, I met Jashree uh, like uh, last year. Uh, she uh, like we met in Naipur Mohali. She even gifted me uh, laughing Buddha and uh, 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 just. Uh, uh, you know decoration piece of like uh, saying the best teacher and uh, really want to thank you for that i still have that in my uh, home and uh, i just see it every day it gives me motivation that yeah i am helping students and they are you know inspired by me so thank you so much for that also and uh, i wish you all the best for the future also and thank you so much for sharing all the things i think students will be getting a lot of knowledge and a lot of clarity regarding regulatory phase of